Okay, as you can see, this thing's been charging overnight for probably about 14 hours. And you can see the power cord's plugged in. So I'm gonna take the power cord out. Lights go out. Push the button. The lights come on. So that should be full power. So the solar panel should be ready to go. Click it again. Full power. We'll wait here a second. Full power. Lights go out. We'll flip it over. And we will check the output, which is this back one here. As you can see, it says 12 volt output. Let me set this up here. Turn our multi tester on zero zero. And let's test the output. Negative is the outside ring, center is the positive ring. nothing as you can see there's nothing center nothing voltmeter's not even moving try it again outside rings negative center pin is positive and as you can see nothing so that tells me something's wrong here so we'll shut this off. Shut this off. We'll go back here. Now we're going to flip it over. Hit the power button again. And look, absolutely nothing. We'll plug the power cord. We're going to plug the power cord back in to 12 volt in. You can see it says in right there, 12 volt in. Flip it over. And you just saw less than two minutes ago, it was full power. And now look at it. It's blinking. So... The battery pack inside this thing is bad, plain and simple. We'll unplug it, push the power button. Full power. We'll do it again. Power cord, flip it over. Power in to charge, flip it over. And it's blanking. Unplug the power cord. Full power. Full power. But no output.
So here's this thing. This is the second one um, because the first one did exactly what this one's doing, which is you put it on uh, the the uh, AC adapter charger and charge it up. And I'm coming out of the 12 volt jack there and when you charge it using the AC adapter you actually do get get this in here you do actually get 12 volts okay. so I put my meter on here After it's been mounted here to the tree, once it discharges and charges up under solar only, it'll only come back to six volts. And that's exactly the way the first one behaved as well. And I went through multiple innings of email to their support try this, try that, blah, 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 and, they find, and it, I described the same thing, and they finally said, okay, we'll send you an, another one, and this is the other one, and it does exactly the same thing, so if you need 12, if you need 6 volts, great, but if you really need 12 volts, it's not going to work. Okay, so we're doing a wing home review it's plugged into the 12 volt DC output headed out in the woods for about two weeks and it quit working so we brought it back and we got a little meter here that we'll check okay so you can hold this And it appears that it's only putting out 8 volts. After turning it on, it says fully charged. And that's out of the 12 volt side, and that is not enough to do the camera. When the spy point requires 12 volts to fire it up. So, we will see if we can get any type of input from the manufacturer. Only one one light from this. Should be 
манной